Hi, my name is Sheikha Singh and I'm the Invasive Species Coordinator for the JLW SISMA. And today we are here to talk about Tree of Heaven. Tree of Heaven is every landscaper's dream, or at least it used to be because it grows really fast, it provides a lot of shade, and it was seen as an exotic tree species. Tree of Heaven is originally from Northeast China, Central China, and Taiwan. And it was brought in about the 1700s. And I think it was brought into Philadelphia for the first time. And then by the 1800s, it was sold, you know, all over the place in landscape um, nurseries. And, you know, city planners were using them. And I think that they were still used in planning up until the last, you know, couple of years. So we really want to get the word out about this invasive species. It outcompetes the native species, which is a feature that a lot of um, invasive species have. And it has a couple of unique features that I want to share with you. And we're going to highlight some, some of those features that you can identify it and take action if you have it on your property. This species is also problematic because it is the host species for the spotted lanternfly. The spotted lanternfly is a beautiful insect from Asia. It has red wings and it has um, some gray uh, wings with spotted black dots. And we're not going to talk about that today but just know that it causes some damage to crops and so we definitely don't want those uh, species here and unfortunately uh, they have made their way to michigan and they've established themselves in other states towards the east so each of these are one leaf and these are leaflets and you can kind of see how each leaf is alternating with the other look at that branch one 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 and so these leaves are, you know, compound and the leaflets are lance shaped. They've got some, a ridge at the base. And if you flip it over, you can kind of see the tooth at the base that the native species don't have. All right, so the next thing we're gonna look at is the bark, so see how these barks are a little bit smooth? Here we have a mature tree. It still has a smooth bark, it's a little bit more gray, a little bit of a texture. But if you look at the tree behind me, it's a little bit, you know, olive in color, smooth, it can be a little bit thin. You can see some of the uh, heart-shaped notches on the side. This tree species is dioecious, so there is a male and a female version. Female versions have samaras, which are seeds, and they sort of resemble maple spinners, those maple helicopters, but the seed is in the middle. And the female species, those seeds are viable and they can spread uh, via wind, water, wildlife. Here is a dried branch I found on the ground nearby, and these, these are indeed Samaras from the Tree of Heaven. And look how the seeds are in the middle, and they still have that little helicopter look to them. But also, this species sends out um, suckers, and some of the saplings will emerge around the base. And so what you see here is a good example you have a couple of um, larger trees and look, look at all these little guys popping up and they're definitely shading out anything that should have been growing here. Um, trilliums, you know, any kind of local uh, native plants. And so, yeah, it's kind of bad news. Another distinctive uh, thing about it is that it smells like peanut butter if you break it apart. So if we break off a stem, one of the telltale features also includes that heart-shaped um, scar on the tree itself. It smells like peanut butter and nutty. So we're sitting at a sumac tree, which is commonly mistaken for Tree of Heaven. Uh, for one thing, like later on in the season, you'll notice those little brown uh, fuzzy seed heads. Tree of Heaven does not have that. This species does have compound leaves, but if you look closer, the leaves have a little bit more ridging along the sides. It's not smooth. And if you look at the underside, there is no tooth at the base. 
Thank you for listening, and I hope you found this video to be a little bit helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact your local SISMA coordinator. You can contact me. Um, just Google JLW SISMA, which is C-I-S-M-A. So that stands for Jackson Lenaway Washna Cooperative Invasive Species Management Area. And I'd be more than happy to help you. And you'll also have the contact details um, posted at the um, description of this video. Thank you.